Hey, I hope your day is going great. Lancaster, Pennsylvania to get kimchi jars. About a two and a half hour drive. It's either I spend $30 in gas or I spend $270 in shipping. So gas and time. You have to weigh out your time as well. Hey, I didn't take the camera into Wee Bean. You never know who wants to be filmed and who doesn't want to be filmed. So, But I'm gonna tell you, Eric and his employees are the absolute best. Always remember when you go get coffee, Bring in your own cup. Saves a cup. Saves the saves the coffee place a little bit of money uh, to not have to provide a cup for you. Uh, also, a lot of times the coffee is a lot cheaper. They give you a little bit of a break. All right, we are on our way. I'm gonna start driving. I'm afraid I'm gonna hit traffic. So it's about 7:15 in the morning. We have to go through the traffic of D.C., the traffic of Baltimore, and make our way up to the Pennsylvania border. As a small business, this is one thing that I have to I have to think about constantly. Do I get materials shipped or do I drive to get them? Do I find a local place to buy them in bulk or do I get it shipped from far away? That you know, Fillmore Container is one of the best places that I the most consistent places with the least supply chain disruptions so far i'm on my way up right now it's monday morning nice and early i got an early start i'm battling a little bit of rush hour traffic so this is one way that i can keep my cost down it takes a little bit more time a little bit more effort i'm not just getting things shipped so yeah this is what i'm doing i'm on my way hopefully i'll be there by about 9 30 and i'll be back home by lunchtime Catch you on the flip side. That was very efficient. We spent about $40 in gas, way better than $270 in shipping. So I made the right decision there. A um, little bit, a lot more stressful. I'm gonna tell you right now, these people out there that are commuters on these highways are absolutely insane drivers. I just, I can't get over the amount of people I, or the amount of accidents that I almost saw. If any of you are in the market for any kind of glass, I think they do plastic, they do all different kinds of containers, you need to check out Fillmore Container. 
It's in Lancaster, Pennsylvania from Southern Maryland. If you follow this channel and you are local to Southern Maryland, it's about a two and a half hour drive and it's not a bad drive. Once you get north of Baltimore, you're on Route 83 and it is all country and it's beautiful. It's like rolling hills and today it was snow on the ground so it's pretty cool. Fillmore Container, what you do is you order online. They have a pretty good selection even with the supply chain being all messed up their selection's pretty good we did have to change our bottle style a little bit because of the supply chain disruptions however go check out fillmore container it took me a long time to find a good place to get a good reliable place to get glass containers for our kimchi I did not want to use plastic anymore i wanted to use glass i wanted it to be more of a sturdy container and uh, more and also airtight so please give them a check um a fillmore container i'm gonna put the the link in the description and you uh, i will show it to you right now fillmore container is absolutely amazing you put your you put your uh, order online and then you select pickup at the store then you get to choose any day and any time window you want they will have it ready for you you literally go in the sliding door and you'll have your order number listed on a big tv screen a uh, huge screen it'll tell you your company name your order number and where it can be located and today it was awesome the guy brought it out on the pallet fork and just let it sit there so i can load it into the car very efficient what was really cool was originally i had set up for tuesday pickup janine was busy all day tuesday and couldn't take arlo to school today was the only day she could have taken arlo to school so i needed to use the subaru for gas purposes the truck would have i would have spent way more money in the truck and gas so i used the subaru today janine took arlo to school i had to change the day and i called them and last minute and um one of the customer service representatives i, I don't even know how many they have probably one or two it's very it's a, it's a family-run company huge huge warehouse but it's a family-run company and um, they changed the day and she said, I could, she said, you could pick it up anytime from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Monday. It was ready to go this morning. So they must have prepped it probably last Friday for an early pickup because I got there at like 9.30. Please, please, please check out Fillmore Container. Absolutely amazing. Lowest prices, best quality, best customer service and I would highly, highly recommend them. This is gonna do it for this video. I know it was kind of a weird video, but I wanted to show you a little bit of a like behind the scenes of what I have to do besides just farm stuff. And I wanted you guys to be able to um, kind of come along for the, for the ride. I'm glad you guys watched. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button please share it with anybody. If, if you're like-minded like us and you like our videos, you probably have friends or family that like our videos as well. So please make sure you like and subscribe. Please comment. And today I want you to comment. If you have a business, what is one of those things that's behind the scenes that not many people know or nobody has seen you do or something that's a little bit extra that you have to put into a business that people that don't usually have a business don't really think about. Today was one of those days where I had to make that decision to make that drive. All right guys, thank you for watching so much and uh, I'll see you in the next video, bye.